my name is uh, Ross McFarlane, I'm the Remote Operations Centre Manager. Uh, my job is to, to look after the centre and make sure that we have um, adequate personnel and uh, of, of adequate skills in order to make sure that we've uh, put people in proper control of the vessel at all times, as well as maintaining the, the, the redundancies of the systems, making sure that we have the technology in order to allow us to continue our operations safely. The USV stands for Uncrewed Surface Vessel. So what that essentially is, is it's a vessel with no people on board. We can uh, fit all the, all the sensors on board that we can fit on, on board one of our conventional vessels, but we've managed to reduce the size because we've managed to take away all those hotel systems in order to support people living on board. So basically, it's better for the environment because it's a smaller vessel, so it uses less fuel, up to 95% compared to one of our conventional vessels. It also uh, improves safety because we've managed to remove people from the offshore environment and put them into a facility of something like this where they can control it from a safe location onshore. The main technology is obviously the communications to make sure that we can remain in control of the vessel at all times. So the, the, the satellite technology is basically the main enabler in order to enable uh, to get all those, the information back to shore in order to, to maintain safe, safe uh, monitoring of the vessel. So as you can see here, we've got camera systems coming back from the vessel. So that's enabled through the VSAT. We've also got um, radar, GPS, all the same systems you would find on one of your conventional vessels. Um, the other thing is the, the smart control system. So in, in case we lose connections to the vessel, there's systems in place that it takes specific actions so that the vessel remains in a safe condition at all times. So this is the same sort of idea. We have three main control functions within the, within the, the facility. So we have the, the ROV, the remotely operated vehicle, which can be launched off the back of the USV and fly down to a depth of around 400 meters. So that's controlled uh, by a joystick from, from uh, this container. Then we've got the, the USV control, which is actually from this, this position here. So he's physically driving the vessel at the moment. And then the other side is the survey sensors, so controlling all the sensors, gathering the data. For the offshore industry, uh, this, is, this is a complete game changer. Basically, we can do all of the inspect, 90, about 90%, 95% of the inspection work that we used to do. So we can do inspection of pipelines, um, bathym gather bathymetry data, um, do inspection of subsea, subsea structures, um, sort of the, the potentials are endless. Um, we're, we're expanding as we go. We sort of focused in on our core markets at the moment, but we're finding new use cases for the vessel all the time. The biggest challenge is the regulatory stuff. Um, there isn't actually any regulations in place at the moment for this. Um, we've been working closely with a number of governments though for the last three or four years in order to put that in place. So we've actually got an announcement coming out this week about the, the UAE in particular, who we've, we've partnered with and been working very closely with to get the vessel into the water. The other challenges are the, the training. Obviously, people and skills are key to making sure that this works. Everybody thinks it's technology, but it's actually the people that make it work. So what we've done is we've partnered with a company in the UK, and over the last three or four years, we've been developing a bespoke training course for that, which all of the people here in the UAE, uh, our team here in the UAE, have, have been through. So that's specifically teaching them this technology. So the innovation is, I think size reduction is probably the biggest thing. Because we've managed to take people out of harm's way, the vessel can be a lot smaller because you don't need to have accommodation or um, catering services and all of those sorts of things. It's also allowing us to put, um, put technology into harsher environments so we can design the technology to be more robust because we don't need to think about that. Is it comfortable for somebody to be on? That's really the, the biggest development here.